Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how shorts are trying to exit the Goldman Sachs liquidity problem, how they're trying to force a squeeze and many more in this video. Now, firstly, we're going to take a look at this. AMC short volume today was 78.1% in case you didn't know why the stock was down. What happens when the stock is heavily shorted? The price goes down. What happens when shorts can no longer maintain the position and get margin called? We've already seen multiple 1,500% gains on this stock. Shorts haven't closed their positions. And again, this is something that we've all known from the start. But if you take a look at the chart right now to understand that the drop in price recently from this is firstly initiated with the news of dilution. But what we have to differentiate in the drop of the price that it isn't done from investors selling their shares, but rather from short sellers creating more short positions on AMC and suppressing the price. And that's why when we see this drop, we know that it isn't because people are selling. Now, why are shorts doing this? Well, by pushing the price down, they're obviously trying to get you to sell so that they can cover their short positions. As again, this is a clear indication and a signal of understanding that shorts haven't closed their position because if they have, they won't be trying to suppress and manipulate AMC this much. If we take a look at this right now, AMC announced the dilution and magically almost traced the exact same in volume in the past two days that's funny where have i seen that before oh yeah earnings volume is stored in ken griffin's dark pool and can release it whenever he wants fake volume fake price crime scene and the reason why we're taking a look at this is to understand what is happening right now typically when amc has something that is extremely pivotal a huge major news so whether it's earnings whether it's in this case obviously with the share offering we see volume actually go up but yet in times when it's positive um and yet in times when again it's pivotal towards um amc actually improving we don't actually see that volume kick in even if we do we still see the short um, size volume to be bigger we still see the price to go down and that again is because of what we talked about the multiple the ways they use to abuse the dark pool to exploit the dark pool but also to abuse the price of amc and so understand this why would they be doing all of this you know at pivotal times if they're not trying to get you to be scared because when amc releases the news and you see the price go down if you don't do enough research if you don't do extensive research and you just see what's happening right now you would think that right now people are selling and again put yourself in this um in this perspective of seeing amc releasing news of um, share offering and the price dropping if you didn't do your research you would think that everyone is panic selling but if you did your research you understand that right now we are seeing amc buy side imbalance for both today and yesterday and so in times like this where we see buy side imbalance we know that again there are more buy volumes than there are sell volumes but yet we see the price go down so it's, you need to differentiate between the fact that price is dropping from people selling or people shorting and again right now it's from shorters shorting amc what we have to understand is again the short interest of um, free flow right now is 16.29%. Now, obviously, to me, that is seemingly fake because again, we're seeing the volume going up, we're seeing a buy side imbalance, yet the short uh, share price is going down. So, you know, what we can see right now is again understanding that they are shorting more than 16.29%, yet they're not reporting it. We can also see the short interest of shares actually to be imp um, increasing every single day, and that again is just the indication of what's happening right now in the market how they're trying to suppress amc but there are multiple reasons for why they're trying to do this so again understand that they're manipulating amc right now for multiple reasons i'm going to get it right into it the first reason is understanding this is goldman sachs having liquidity problems today bny the paying agent for gs finance corp um, refused to pay interest and principles on a long list of mmi issues by goldman sachs because the money didn't arrive on time and payments will be then delayed 24 hours so this is what we've seen recently many short sellers of amc right now are struggling to be paying payments on time and again refusing to pay interest payments as well and again this we've seen with citigroup we've seen this with bank of america and now we're seeing this with goldman sachs and so all of the people which are involved in shorting AMC are all seemingly in a position where they are struggling for money, where they're struggling to have enough liquidity, enough payments, uh, enough capital to be obviously paying their payments on time. Now, this would be a clear reason to understand why they now want to short AMC. 
with the AMC price being up, with the AMC still being existent on the market and not going bankrupt, what it does to the short is firstly, it takes up a whole lot of their capital to be holding onto their existing positions, to be spending money to create more synthetics and naked short of AMC, and also money every single day to finance their short positions. So by AMC staying alive, by AMC being on the market, it's eating into the capital of these short sellers every single day day and so the fact we're seeing them right now failing to pay payments having liquidity problems it makes sense to why they're trying to push amc down because also about pushing amc down they obviously will have a ease on the margin required and so you can see right now that shorts are struggling and again it's a weird coincidence that we're seeing AMC right now being corrupted, being exploited at a time where many short sellers are all facing difficulties, whether that's with Citigroup and Goldman Sachs failing to pay money, whether that's with Citadel right now trying to borrow more money, whether that's with Virtue obviously seeing a massive um, decrease in their fundamentals and their financials. All of these are leading for uh, to us to understand that they are shorting AMZ because all of the short sellers are struggling. Furthermore, what we can see is Susquehanna Investment Group is the biggest AMC short sellers. SEC filing and Fintel shows how they recently loaded up on AMC calls in Q4 2023. Here's a speculative post about what SIG is up to and why it might be trying to force a squeeze. So this is something that we've covered in the past before, but I wanted to bring it back to let everyone understand why it's actually relevant right now. Now, so SIG Susquehanna was a AMC short seller. They still are a AMC short seller, but what they did was actually buy calls in AMC. Now, the reason for why they're doing this was for a way to, again, squeeze the price of AMC up and hedging itself against the AMC squeeze with potentially 198,000 call contracts, positioning for an exit from AMC with minimal damage by riding up with retails. So there are multiple factors we have to look into here. First, we understand that again, short sellers are trying to get out, whether that's with again, liquidity problems, whether that's we're trying to push the price down, we know that short sellers are trying to get out. And this is what we've seen with SIG trying to obviously squeeze AMC. So we firstly know that they are trying to get out. Now, why are they trying to get out? Well, we also have to understand this is that they are obviously struggling right now. You can see the wording used by biotech here is with minimal damage right now they are in severe damage now there is no um in terms of proof or data right now that sig also owns a um, massive synthetics of amc but regardless of the synthetics right now in their positions of amc in the real shorts alone they will obviously be in a heavy loss and they still haven't covered their short position so again that's why we can see here trying to minimize damage and so you can understand they're trying multiple ways right now to exit AMC, whether it's with faking the squeeze to get you guys to sell, whether it's with pushing the price down to make you guys um, panic and sell. They're all doing this for one sole reason, getting rid of your real shares so that they can get into your real shares. And so you can see what the benefits for them doing this is, is in terms of covering their short positions. And so there are so many clues and data right now, which allows us to understand that shorts are indeed strong that they are trying to get out of the AMC short position. Furthermore, now we've talked about how SIG doesn't have any proof of synthetics. Well, first we have to understand is that it's very likely for short sellers of AMC to have synthetics because again, they are already in a massive down position. And so they will create synthetics to make sure that their position doesn't get margin call. But furthermore, if you take a look at this for the token of wrapped AMC, we can see the max total supply, which is coming in at eight quadrillion AMC tokens. Now, Supposedly, these tokens were meant to be uh, one to one. Now, even at one to a hundred, one to a thousand, it is still a crazy amount of shares that are in existence. And even if we just take minus all the zeros here and just say that it's 8 billion shares of AMC synthetics is still a huge amount. Now, again, there is no um, proof of correlation between the wrapped AMC tokens and what we've talked about here with SIG in terms of um, SIG owning these tokens. But what we know is that shorts have an abundance of synthetics that they have to cover. And they can only do so by either A, 99% of AMC sellers, uh, AMC investors selling their AMC shares. So that is uh, institutional own so that they have no one to be paying therefore there won't be a margin call 
or AMC going bankrupt. And again, we can see how both the ways we talked about here, whether it's forcing a squeeze to get an investor to sell so that they can replace you guys, or by pushing the price down to make you guys panic and sell, or push the price down so that AMC can't raise enough money and goes bankrupt. All of these ways are used to try and get rid of the synthetics. And again, we can see the severeness of this um, issue with this problem, with the situation that these short sellers are in. And so we can understand right now, it is true that they are struggling for liquidity and that they are trying to get you to sell. But the power that every ape has is obviously holding on to their AMC shares. Now, none of this is ever financial advice. I do take a look at the of salt. Make sure you do your own due diligence and research. And I'll catch you guys next time.